viewers welcome to today's reading today being wednesday july 12 2023 and this message is a daily message for everyone let's have a look at what today is going to tell us um, welcome everybody i hope you'll enjoy this and don't forget to stay tuned for answers uh, to your questions starting with the first message for wednesday july 7th the truth and today I had to cut it. Mm, it didn't come out. Okay. Very interesting. It says cleanse and detox. So cleansing and detoxifying means getting rid of everything unwanted, whether it's physical from your um, body, from your mind, from your life, from overall. It says with great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. They're talking about body now. Okay. At your request, we will help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress as well as ease any sorrow or shedding your old ways. For those of you, those of us who have habits, um, we need to detoxify from those habits and our guardian angels are going to help us. Give your cares, worries and concerns to us and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. So they're talking about body. Um, but I feel like this is to do with cleansing, detoxifying the body and more, everything else in your life uh, that is not helping you, that is not um, healing you, not giving you any healing. Uh, so have a think about this. I feel like they are going to be, our guardian angels are going to be with us, helping us to develop a better life's plan. So put plans into action because they are going to be with us now to support anything we do. Let's have a look at the sacred forest for July 12th. The message is energy. You are going to be given so much energy. Fire energy here, very strong. For those of you that have fire energy within you, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, uh, there's going to be a transcending. You're transcending beyond where you are. And I feel sometimes with the fire spirit, I feel like there could be someone of fire energy helping you transcend to a higher level. I also feel like you yourself will have the power now to be um, leveled up. You're leveling up. And you have the energy to do so. This could be also about detoxifying. Uh, the the detoxifying the does, and it's, look at here, purity. So it's all to do with purity and detoxifying, removing anything that's unwanted and um, uh, that's not well for you. Now, let's have a look at two other cards before I do the tarot. Important messages for July 12th. So we have the coffin and the other one. Oops, and the other one is... The cup, beautiful. So it shows here that there are, you have to be very careful when the golden coffin comes um, and you're reading and our reading so that we don't make any mistakes with bad investments. It's about bad investments, financial challenges and having issues saving. So be very, very alert about this. It's very important. It is also about careers in office, night shift, working night shift and some jobs ending to move you to the next level. I also feel like um, you've just got to be extra careful when you are investing or thinking of investing. Okay, that's very important. I just had to say that twice. Award is wonderful. This is about winning money. It came yesterday, I think, or the day before. Pay off, uh, paying off for effort. So efforts are going to be paying you off. You'll be getting a lot of profits. Re recognition, being recognized and applauded for a job well done. That means promotions and raises and all that. Advancement. Career. In regard to your career, it's about professional work. It could be about fame and advancement in your career. Promotions and rises. Okay. So we've got that. Now we move on to the next level. And let's see four major impacts for July 12th for everyone. Starting with the first one, and we have what a beautiful card, the Empress, a major arcana that talks only about nurturing power that will give you abundance. Abundance in every area of your life, fruitfulness, motherhood, the greatest motherhood of all, those of you who want to be mothers or starting families, those of you who are starting families. Uh, it is about abundance that's coming to you from all angles and every area in your life. Let's have a look at the second one. The second one says that there is something that could bring a separation on some truth that might be painful, um, piercing the heart. heart. Like this could be a painful truth that could be piercing the heart and it could be uh, deception sometimes, but it is certainly about um, a separation. Of course, we will clarify that too. Now we have the emperor, which is the um, 
the power and control, finally having power and control over your life, in your life, over your body, in your journey, in your health, in everything you do. And in some cases, it is an offer of a job that gives you a leadership position that you can't say no to. That's also a possibility. Oh, wait a minute. Sorry, there should be two here, three here, and one more. And the other one is the three of... Um, Wands, which shows advancement, uh, it shows um, expansion, it shows movement, uh, moving, thinking about expanding your home, your business, buying another one. I feel like there's a lot of rewards coming with the three of wands and opening your mind and your perception and seeing the bigger picture. And what you don't see happening here is you need to act quickly. There's abundance coming, giving you an amazing life. A dream life will be possible. Large sums of money coming, unexpected, something you're not expecting. And you need to take advantage of a situation quickly to resolve a problem and to also take advantage of an opportunity. A beautiful opportunity could be money or love. In this case, there's a lot of money here, so it could be money. Now, what I'm going to do is find out what else you need to know before I clarify the cards. The viewers, now we will see what else you need to know before I clarify everything. We're going to take two cards, one for the collective and July 12th. The second card, second message. Here we go. Let's put these away. Okay, we have faith. This is the this is the wheel of fortune. This is a beautiful wheel of fortune where faith is going to take place to heal you to give you everything you want, to give you freedom, to spark, to put a spark in your life. This is divine intervention. And it comes usually when karma ends and you are about to be given a great fortune. Fortune. It's about extraordinary luck coming your way and life being controlled. If things are out of your control, it's because destiny is taking place. Fate is taking place to take you to the next level. And the next level is going to be spectacular. The beginning of something magic. I love that. Now, the second one here, we have... Um, when you are uncertain and torn between two situations, stability is needed. And this is where it's coming. Stability is coming. You might, you may be trying to balance two lives or two situations, juggling between things, uncertainty, all that is going to be uh, causing you some chaos, but that's going to be the end of it. This, um, stressful choices but the universe intervenes with some good news that's coming and that's going to give you stability i feel like destiny is going to be uh, supporting you in that i didn't talk about the cup which was all about rewards i did say rewards and advancement i feel like part of the rewards also will be destiny and helping you juggle situations and also i feel like uh, the abundance card is here showing that you are abundantly going to be with the fortune here, there's a lot of abundance coming your way. The reward's one of them. And then you've got the wheel of fortune that gives you abundance and gives you so much. There is so much uh, coming your way. There's so much being given to you here. I see uh, your life changing to levels beyond where you are today, living the life of luxury, having all the abundance that you deserve and extraordinary um uh, fate playing a uh, the, the wheel of fortune is about money and you got unexpected money coming also that changes your life my dear um viewers look at that do you see that this is amazing this is incredible um that's why this is coming mm, very interesting very interesting okay so um we move forward now to the next one we've got the wheel of fate all that all right so um, we move to the next level and the next level let's see what else you need to know we're going to take two cards the first one the july 12th and the second one and see what else there's actually two more here july 12th we're going to take one and july 12th we're going to take another one Okay, so we'll take uh, these ones first. It says that some of you are running away from a situation that you no longer want to be um, codependent on. You're trying to run away. Maybe um, fear of intimacy, fear of something, differences, uh, listening to ego, but you're running away from something or someone could be running away uh, from a situation. There is a relationship that's uh, that has a lot of, um, you know, might have given you some... Uh, 
wounds because of your image self image might be at question a situation that again to do with intimacy perhaps and not being happy ego and not being quite happy um it, it says here pay attention to the red flags we had this before things that are signs are going to show you that something isn't right so they're cautioning you and it says here love yourself first your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive so that's very important now Let's have a look at the message here and then I'll do the answers and then I'll clarify. One message for the collective for the 12th and there it is. And it says here that my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually, we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing absolutely nothing except the presence of your soulmate in your in your life and that is coming very very strong coming now my dear viewers what we're going to do is find out the answers to four questions so it's up to you if you have only one question then you choose one answer if you have more write down what you want and then put me on pause write it down and then unpause me to get the answers we're starting with july 12th answer for the collective starting with answer number one We've got the first one. I'm not gonna shuffle. I'll do number two. Number three. Answer number three. And answer number four. Okay, I'll just remove these cards out of the way. And we've got the four answers. Now I'm gonna add to them those extra. Uh, information like clues so we're doing answer shuffling one cutting four times for answer number one a clue about answer number one a clue about number two a clue about number three and then we've got number four a clue about number four there we go okay let's start now you can unpause me and you'll see me doing the answers now we're going to do start with answer number one it says opportunity a great opportunity is coming opportunity and the answer is a bow which means you are highly thought of somebody really thinks very highly of you and also it can be a gift the bow is also a gift and um, then we've got this number two it says wait wait maybe the truth will come and show you the way we've got the cat here it could be chinese year of the rabbit or chinese year of the cat they call it the cat or the rabbit this year is the year of the cat or rabbit 2023 a two-faced friend there could be someone that's two-faced so wait a little bit before maybe that's what this is all about like paying attention sorry paying attention to the red flags there could be someone not being quite honest with you just be patient the signs will show you that's number two Answer number three, it says here, perfect timing. Wow, perfect timing. And it says a carriage, which is a journey, either physical or mental, but there is a beautiful journey and one that's going to be glorious. The carriage is always glorious. Number four, answer number four, it says success. Wow, success. And it says here, July. Wow, July. That's kind of success in this month. So you don't have to wait long. Excellent, beautiful July we are in july 12th of july so these are your answers my dear viewers now i'm going to start clarifying the cards we're starting with the card of abundance which is the empress let's see what the empress is going to give you what is it going to do for you the empress oh well that was amazing okay so we've got the eight of pentacles and the eight of pentacles is money owing to you that's coming but there could be complications and miscalculations uh, because eight of pentacles is always about warning being very cautious with what you do there is a large sum of money coming so just remember money is coming from the abundance but you need to pay attention when you're signing documents so that you don't make any mistakes what else with the abundance the power of the magician and an ending it's going to support you give you the power to move things the way you want and an ending of a chapter of your life so that is wonderful let's have a look of the three of swords and see what the three of swords is all about could be deception um yes again money and something about the truth uh something about money money coming to you having the power to do a lot to help others to do so much um but also there is someone of air energy it could be aquarius gemini libra either one 
um, there could be some truth being directed. Oh, this could be a separation from someone that has air energy within them. What you don't see coming, there is the eight. Remember the eight, we talked about the eight of wands. You need to take advantage of a situation very quickly and you'll have the energy with that and the magician to be able to take advantage of the situation and really reap some values and some great opportunity so take action now don't delay when this happens because i feel like um, there is a lot that's going to be taking place in that regard okay now we move on to the emperor let's have a look at the emperor and the power control over your life and journey is happening once you leave a situation that's coming to an end that's been overwhelming you something that's been just happening too much to the point where it's giving you sleepless nights anxiety and pain it's about something that you've been relying on for too long you're used to it but it's falling apart because there's no foundation it has to come to an end and that's why you are going to be empowered by the emperor to actually leave the situation that could be also ending with someone of fire energy a relationship that might come to an end with someone like aries or sagittarius or leo this is the aries card it could be in regard to someone taking time out and healing and there's that two of pentacles which we had here um where is it the two of pentacles it was here somewhere uh it, it there it is here stability um, not knowing where to go and not having balance and being in between places you are going to have a lot to think about this and I feel once you have a uh, think about it and some news comes that will help you to heal take time out and really heal and they will give you um, your guiding angels and the power of the empress the abundance and the nurturing power is going to help you heal from this being torn between two situations let's have a look at the three of wands the three of wands shows you are going to be committing to doing something a little bit of patience and you're going to be free to be able to do that you'll be able to have freedom you'll be able to be free from all cares and worries especially those of you who are um, starting your own business or something like that this is a bit later on but at this point in time you are committing to something wonderful this commitment is going to be um helping you expand move forward there's a lot of money that you're dealing with we've got money everywhere actually money here money there money coming where is that other one anyway there's money everywhere in your reading so there's a lot of money coming in and then you've got the, uh, this one here sorry so a lot of money is coming maybe that's why you're expanding you're able to do so much and um we've got the rewards card which shows that rewards are coming big time in regard to money and you are going to be empowered a lot this is really really big um it shows to me that there's going to be a lot of money big sums of money coming from all over the place there's a lot of need to slowly understand what to do with it, how to invest it, where to put it, and what's the best course of action. Always remember to um, put things that are 100% uh, concrete. Try to avoid anything that's risky. Everything is risky now with everything that's happening in our world, with the digital thing coming on. And I mean, I've never been one who believes in stock market, but now everything is not stable. So yes, um, I'll leave it at that. Some people do believe in that and I don't want to take that away. Let's have a look at what else you need to know. Two more um, messages for July 12th for the collective. Okay, I'll cut it. We'll take the first one. And then we'll take the second one. All right, glasses on and we have love life it says affairs of the heart could cause future problems but take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a good decision this week that's that one and the other one says care is required guard yourself against deception remember there is a deception here where is it here okay this is all deception so you've got to be careful um paying attention to size deception um it says here that deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time be very careful of that my dear viewers i hope you enjoyed this reading give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you let me know your story and what you think in connection to what we saw here remember faith is coming and bringing you a lot of abundance the wheel of fortune i forgot to put it with all the money that i was talking about the wheel of fortune is um a great amount of money so that also is the contributor towards a lot of money the only thing is you've just got to be a little bit extra cautious with all this money the wheel of fortune the wheel of fate it's bringing you abundance just a little bit caution when you're signing documents and where you're getting advice there's a rise a big rise in your money 
I'll just put this one here also so you can see there's a few of them showing that a lot of abundance is coming your way. And that is magnificent. And of course, don't forget the most important factor here is that the cup, the rewards here is about winning money. You see, winning money. So there could be a win. Have a look at your money reading. That could be advising you as to what to do with all this money that's coming, how to play the lotto or the lottery, what the best course of action is, and to see if there is anything showing about this big money that's destined for you. Okay. Now, that's the end of your reading, my dear viewers. I wish you abundance of blessings, joy, happiness, love and light to each and every one of you. Those of you celebrating birthdays, I wish you the best of the best, July 12th. And those of you celebrating anniversaries, I wish you abundance of uh, best of the best and best blessings to all of you. Happy birthdays, happy anniversaries and namaste.